This guide will teach you how to create your own customized key map using the QMK Configurator. It is assumed you know how to use QMK Configurator, compile your keyboard's firmware, and how to flash it onto your board. In most cases, such as the 1UP60 HSE, a default key map is already provided. However, what do you do if there isn't one? Or you want to start from the ground up? Part 1. Generic Key Codes on the ANSI or ISO GIS tab, you will find key codes most common for keyboard input. Populate your keyboard with these as you see fit. Part 2. Basic Layer Switching You may have noticed that to the left of your screen, there are numbers from 0 all the way to 15. These are your layer numbers in QMK. For the most basic of layer switching, you can hold a key and it activates the layer until you let go. We'll be using the key code MO located in the Quantum tab under the Layer and Layer tab functions. Some of you may know this more as the FN key. MO stands for momentary and the number you put in the little box is the layer you want to switch to. Part 3. Populating your layer You can really put anything you want here. However, if you're on a 60%, such as the 1UP60 HSE, most people like putting the F keys, F1 through F12 along the number row. This is the transparent key code. It means that when pressed, it'll go down one layer. Ideally, you want KC trans on all unused keys on your layer. Also, you want KC trans on your MO key. Speaking of the MO key, Look, there's another one on this layer, and it activates layer 2. Yes, you can put MO keys on other layers as well. However, this requires some finger gymnastics as this means you need to hold the MO key that activates this layer and then hold this new MO key to activate the next layer. You'll see that this key map also utilizes some media keys, vol plus, vol minus, and mute. You can find these in the app media and mouse tab under the multimedia keys section. Part 4. Lighting Key Codes Lighting Key Codes can be found in the Keyboard Settings tab under their respective categories, Backlight Settings and RGB Lighting Settings. In general, Backlight refers to LEDs that are located in the switch or under the switch as surface-mounted LEDs. These will light up translucent legends on your keycaps. Please use the BL underscore key codes for this. RGB lighting refers to underglow LEDs which are commonly located underneath the PCB and will only light up under your board. Please use the RGB underscore key codes for this. There is a third kind of lighting called RGB in switch, which means like backlight they are located in or under the switch. However at the time of making this video, these types of LEDs are still only controllable using the RGB underscore key codes. Part 5. Advanced Layer Switching In Part 5, I'll be talking about the more commonly used advanced layer switching key codes. Click on the Quantum tab once again and let's first explore the Layer and Layer Tab Functions category. You're already familiar with MO, but what about the others? TG TG stands for Toggle, and unlike MO where you hold and release to switch back between layers, TG allows you to just tap it. Tap it once to switch it to the layer you want, and tap it again to switch back. TO. This is pretty much one half of the TG key code. Pressing this key will activate the layer you selected. Tapping it again will not do anything as you are currently already in the layer you selected. There is no way to get back from this unless you have another corresponding TO that brings you back to the layer you want. TT. TT is a combination of MO and TG. Press and hold will work just like MO and activate deactivate the layer you selected. However, tapping it multiple times repeatedly will invoke TG and bring you to the layer you selected. LT0 through 15. This stands for layer tap. LT1 allows you to switch to layer 1 similarly to how MO works. However, if you tap it, it will output the key code you selected. For example, if used on the space bar on layer 0, Holding the spacebar will activate layer 1, releasing it will go back to layer 0. However, if you just tap it, it's a regular space. 
Part 6, Mod Key Combinations. Just like the dual action layer keys in Part 5, you can use QMK to program keys as dual action mod keys. These are all accessed in the Quantum tab under the Mod Key Combinations category. The most common one, in my opinion, is RSFT underscore T, which acts as a regular right shift when held, but when tapped, outputs the key code you selected. There are many other key codes QMK supports. If you're on the QMK configurator, you can hover over each key code to find out what it does. I have also attached key code links in the description section below, along with links to other QMK tutorial videos in this series. If you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments section or ask me on Discord directly. Thank you for watching.